Welcome to Splish and Splash with Sandy and Ellen. Today we're going to be talking about weight loss while vacationing. I'd like to introduce you to Sandy who's been on the Beck Diet Solution for three years now. She's going to tell you a little bit about her journey while I plop in the pool. I have used the Beck Plan and CBT to, you, to lose a little better than 50 pounds with the results of much better health and being able to do a lot more. Terrific. So when Sandy came on vacation, this time she's here in sunny California from Pennsylvania for about eight days now. I'd like to ask Sandy, before you left for vacation, what were you thinking in terms of how it would be on your diet? Well, I was hoping that at least I wouldn't gain anything. And I knew that I had to be very mindful and careful, but I still wanted to enjoy myself. And can you tell us what you mean by mindful? Uh, as I planned what I would eat, I tried to keep a balance in mind and try to avoid things that are uh, likely to make me gain weight. And what about tracking while you're on vacation? I did keep track, a uh, count of all the carbs and fats and uh, calories uh, in order to determine whether I could have certain treats or when I could have them. And did that detract from your enjoying your vacation? Not at all. I found that I was able to enjoy some things that I might not normally eat, but still maintain a good healthy diet. So, for instance, last night we took Sandy to our favorite restaurant. It's called Town. And can you tell the audience what you had at Town last evening? I had filet mignon, and I had broccoli, and I had mushrooms. And did you eat the whole filet mignon? I did not. I ate half. And I also shared my mushrooms with my Aslan. And I ate half the broccoli. And indeed, I was very satisfied. So at the end of the meal, my husband, Sandy's son, Mark, and I, we told her that Town Restaurant has the most incredible bread pudding in the world. And her response was, can uh, I have that? I love bread pudding. I love bread pudding. That's true. Her response was, I love bread pudding, and then she said, can I have that? And so what did we say? We, you said that I could try it, get you, a taste. Get a taste. And so what we did, the bread pudding at town is really quite large. And so what we do when we're there is we ask for one third of the bread pudding. And our waiters and waitresses love that because they get to take the other two thirds home to their children or who knows who's eating it at their houses. But... In our house, we only eat a third of it. And the truth is, we eat less than a third when we're there. We take a couple of bites, and then we, we leave it because it's pretty hearty. How was your bread pudding, Sandy? It was superb, and it was enough. It was. And really, how many bites do you think you had? Two. Two bites. And, you know, what I noticed about Sandy and those two bites is that she savored every single morsel of it. And can you tell us a little bit about when you savor, how that impacts your enjoyment? First of all, you truly enjoy the food if you eat it slowly. And uh, it just, you don't need as much to satisfy yourself. Because you're really enjoying. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with the audience today about vacationing and uh, and weight loss. Well, it's very important to enjoy yourself without going too far off your diet. You can do a little tasting as we did. It's also very important to maintain some exercise and I did a good job of that this year. What did you do while you were on vacation? Aerobic exercise with my daughter. -in -law. Let's show them what we do. So we run in the water and sometimes we do some free weights in the water. I don't know if everyone can see that, but we do some free weights in the water. We move it around and do circles like that. But Sandy, can you tell everyone how much exercise you did in the pool today? 45 minutes. Woohoo! Moving Woo and feeling good. And feeling good. So that ends Splish and Splash with Sandy and Ellen for today. Thank you very much.